Welcome back to the show and thank you for tuning in. And when we mentioned targeted treatment, targeted therapy, I'm sure a lot of you were quite piqued your interest as to what kind of treatment we're talking about and what kind of diseases are affected. Right. Uh, well, it's uh, leukemia, lymphoma. Mm -hmm. And in the studio today, since we have uh, Wednesdays, all right, uh, Doc on Call featured on the show, uh, we would like to introduce you to two of our guests in the studio. We have, of course, Dr. Go Kim Yen. Welcome to the studio. Thank you. And, of course, we have her patient. We have uh, Madam Fauzia Hanum. Welcome to the studio. Good. How are Thank you? Thank you very much. It's actually Arif. Oh, Fauzia Arif. Oh, yeah. Fauzia Arif. 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 Okay, got Very it. good Sorry afternoon. Welcome to the studio to both <coughs> of you. Uh, perhaps we can start off by talking about targeted therapy, mm -hmm. smart bullets, targeted yeah. treatment, whatever you may want to call it. Doctor, yeah. please. So, tar targeted therapies are medicine that are usually for, for leukemias and lymphomas or other uh, cancers as well. Mm -hmm. So, it targets specific cells on the cancer molecule. Mm -hmm. So, in the layman term, we call it like bullets. Because once the medicine is injected into the person or is being taken by the patient, the medicine itself binds to the cancer cells, mm. specifically. Mm -hmm. So you leave the healthy cells out of it, basically. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, as you all know, perhaps, you know, normal treatment involves uh, radiotherapy, chemotherapy. Right. And this will also involve destroying healthy cells yes. in the process of treating. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Pohon maybe you can let us know a bit about your experience um, going through this treatment. Had you done any other treatment before seeking targeted treatment? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. um, the thing is, they gave me a... a chemotherapy at first, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one sort of chemotherapy and didn't seem to help me. Um, my body just went out of control. You know, I was really sick. So um, my my doctor at the time, uh, Professor S.K. Chiong, he, j he, he had gone to Paris for a conference and when he came back, mm -hmm. um, he brought this idea of the antibodies to be included in the chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. uh, anti uh, can I say the name? Right. Yeah, the, uh, the, the antibodies is called Metthera. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. that, together with the uh, normal chemo, that did a trick for me. <laughs> I see. I see. I see. Uh, now, what, what are the um, uh, steps mm -hmm. in, in targeted therapy, or you call it um, smart bullets? What's the procedure? I mean, do, do you take it, or is there some sort of... Uh, so this treatment, uh, targeted therapies, uh, exist in two forms, okay. either tablets or injection. Mm. But in Pfizer's case, she had an injection. And that in injection is an anti-B cell monoclonal antibody. Mm -hmm. So what she had was a non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Okay. So in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, there are two large groups of uh, cells that may be affected. One is the B cell type mm. and the other type is the T cell type. Mm -hmm. So Pfizer had the B cell type. And that monoclonal antibody is an antibody that targets the B cell of the lymphoma cells. Mm -hmm. So she had that coupled with the chemotherapy. And so it is like a two-pronged attack on cancers. Mm -hmm. And therefore, the effect is very good. And she had it 10 years ago. Wow. Mm. We'll, we'll talk about your progress and how you're feeling today, 10 years after the treatment. Mm. Uh, first of all, I want to let you know that you can call in on this conversation. 03 228 28578 or 8579. Pick up the phone, give us a call. You can reach us on Twitter. Our handle is HelloOn2 or you can also use our Facebook page. We've got the post up on Smart Bullets already. So you can feed us your questions there as well. Um, let's get back to talking about how you're feeling right now, 10 years after the treatment. Um, there's a lot of talk about cancer reoccurring in patients who've undergone conventional treatment. How yes. are you feeling and have you had any of that? Uh, no, Alhamdulillah, I feel great. Mm -hmm. Maybe I put on <laughs> much more weight than um, I, I, I was. Mm -hmm. uh, during the treatment, I lost a lot of kilos, mm -hmm. uh, about 10 to 15 kilos and, and I look like I <laughs> uh, lost all my hair and everything. Uh -huh. um, my mom said that I look like my, my dad, who, who's passed away now, because mm -hmm. I was bald and he was bald. Mm -hmm. But she said that um, he, he was handsomer than me. <laughs> 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 okay. But um, slowly, I managed to regain my strength. I had to do a lot of exercises on my own. I swam a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, after one year of the, chem the last chemo, I I did a course of um, in paddy scuba diving. Mm. I got my certificate. Wow, <laughs> wow that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, and then I went for the Hajj. 
Way to go. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk a bit about how available this mm -hmm. treatment is. When someone approaches their doctor and says, mm -hmm. uh, already has a diagnosis of leukemia mm -hmm. or lymphoma, mm -hmm. does the doctor, doctor readily prescribe this treatment or is radiotherapy and chemotherapy still the first course of action? So I must say that these two uh, therapies that we are discussing, uh, one of those is what uh, Fauzia has just uh, had undergone. Mm -hmm. So they are the pioneers in targeted therapy. Mm -hmm. So in fact, in the early 2000s, so this is the time when targeted therapy uh, came into the market. So when she first had it 10 years ago, it was still in the experimental stage. Mm -hmm. And I'm here to prove to you that you know, in certain cancers, so uh, telegraphy is proven to be helpful and is curative. So nowadays, there are so many of such drugs in the market. For example, uh, for cancer of the colon or cancer of the breast. Mm -hmm. So a lot of patients are cautious whether or not they should go on this uh, new medicine, you know, new treatment, whether or not they are helpful. Mm -hmm. So this is a slide which show that in 2001, so this drug, this tablet is a targeted therapy mm -hmm. for one kind of leukemia we call a chronic myeloid leukemia. And it is a revolution in medicine and it has appeared on the front page of time that wow. was in 2001. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to show you a patient who is on this treatment and he has scaled Mark Wow, that is amazing. Yeah. Let's, mm -hmm. let's have a look at that scene right mm -hmm. here. The slide of the patient that uh, scaled Mount Kinabalu. What, what's yes. the name of this patient of yours, uh, Dr. Go? So I think I need to... Um, uh, I need, it, is this confidential? It's confidential, oh, but yes. he yeah. has uh, yeah. gladly shared his wow. yeah. accomplishment yes. scaling Mount Kinabalu. Yeah. Uh, and Puan Fauzi just shared that she's got her scuba diving license already. Yes. So amazing. Amazing. Yeah. You can go on to lead progressive lives after this treatment. Uh, tell us a bit about the cost though. Is it cost as compared to conventional treatment? Of course, this is not, usually targeted therapy is not given alone. Right. It has to be combined with certain drugs. Mm -hmm. And some of these drugs is what we call the cytotoxic chemotherapy drugs. Okay, usually these drugs are expensive. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, there are many drug companies which uh, help up the patient by subsidizing the cost of the drugs. I see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, it, can be, it can be done through your doctors. If you have a medical disease, which target therapy is indicated, mm -hmm. so your doctor may arrange for subsidy and for, for monetary help mm -hmm. to fund the medicine. Mm -hmm. I see. Yeah. It's, it's available nationwide? Yes. Mm -hmm. Nationwide? Yes. Uh, and mm -hmm. the reason I'd like to speak more about cost is, of course, insurance does cover a certain portion of uh, patient's treatment. Yes. And sometimes uh, when you see the word experimental, this was 10 years ago, I, I yes, presume, yes. experimental, mm -hmm. uh, insurance companies are reluctant to cover that cost. Has that changed? But through the journey of time and that these two medicines are proven mm -hmm. to be helpful in medicine in these two diseases and hence now they have become standard of care right so which means that patients with these these two diseases should be given these therapies all right so all there right. you go Fantastic. all mm -hmm. right well you're watching uh hello on two with constantine and terence right here we're having doc on call speaking to of course dr go and of course in the studio we have uh Fauzia Arif with us, her patient, and we're going to be taking a short break, right? That's right. Yeah. Coming back, we're going to address your calls and questions on Facebook. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this hot happening package on Oil & Gas. Take a look. Ozamil, mm -hmm. exclusive on the OGA 2013. And uh, we're back talking about smart bullets, targeted treatment for certain types of cancer. And we had a caller earlier, Ponwati on the line mm. from Penang. Uh, we kind of lost you, so do try calling us back. The numbers are 0322828578 or 8579. You can also reach us on Facebook and uh, you can also use our handle on Twitter, which is at hello on 2 all right, let's get back and talking about the topic today on yep, smart, smart bullets. bullets in leukemia and lymphoma. And of course, uh, in the studio, as I introduced earlier on, Dr. Go Kim Yen, consultant physician and hematologist, Harley Street Group. Uh, l let me just uh, throw you this question. That would be, um, is, is leukemia and lymphoma with this uh, uh, method, uh, this, this targeted therapy, yes. is it curable? Uh, yes, there is a potential care. And 
we have a live example here right uh, right next to us exactly right, right. right. so yeah so, so we can share the story yeah uh, share the, the, the the treatment uh, that mm -hmm. you have proposed of course is new and mm -hmm. uh, it's new to us but yeah. you said that after the course of 10 years it's yes. become standard of care yes uh, and mm -hmm. uh, one question would be recurring uh, cancers yeah. um, how does targeted treatment solve this it could be recurring cancer in a different part of the body uh, not an issue as well mm -hmm. so for example in someone who has a relapse from a un an underlying not Hodgkin's lymphoma so the drug can still be used but what we do is we combine with uh, other group of drugs in combination mm -hmm. so sometimes if you have a disease or uh, the somebody who has a disease a relapse from the underlying disease it's not the end of the world mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. a lot of patients who had the treatment after the treatment they are cured and they live normal life like you and I walking on the street mm -hmm. right and they have normal quality of life right yeah. so there you go um, mm -hmm. we're having a little bit of technical problem with our uh, one of our phone numbers so call us on zero three two two eight two eight five seven nine that's the line that we are currently facing no problems with so do call us it's quite a free line no one's calling on that one <laughs> well, using I, I can hear some ringing in my ear right now hopefully yeah. we we'll get a Hopefully we get a caller. Lots yeah. of you are calling in right now, but we're yeah. sorry for the technical problem with 8578. It's 8579. That's the number you need to call. Thank you. Um, let's uh, keep talking about uh, targeted mm -hmm. treatment and a uh, slight history, uh, a look 10 years back. Yeah. Before oh. that, we already have a caller constantly. All right. yeah. Let's take Ruby yeah. from KL. Good morning. Uh, good afternoon, Ruby. Sorry. Yes. How are you doing? Uh, yes, I, I, I have a question. Okay, Ruby, go ahead. About uh, looking out. Okay, Ruby. Please turn off the TV. Thank you. Yeah, because uh, one Ruby, of my please, friends... Uh, Ruby, can you hear us? Uh, could you please uh, turn down your television volume, please? Yes, yes. Please, uh, turn down your volume. Yes, yes. I can hear myself. <laughs> Hello? Okay. Have you turned down your television set? Hello? Uh, turn off Hello? the TV. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Okay, right. great. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, I, want, I want to know about the leukemia sickness. All right. Yes. Before this, there was no any cure, is it? Okay. Is that your question? Yeah. I had a friend uh -huh. who was uh, having also leukemia. All right. But she passed away because uh, after knowing that she is a uh, uh, leukemia patient. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I'm so sorry to hear that. We'll try to address that question to the doctor. Thank you. The question, okay, hello? Yes, yes. you have another question? Yeah, the question is, uh, right now, after how long we can get the medication? I see. Okay, we'll try to uh, ask that question okay. to the doctor. Thank you, Ruby. Thank you, Thank you for calling, Ru Ruby. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, first question was, before mm -hmm. this treatment, mm -hmm. was leukemia curable? Second question would be, how fast yeah. uh, can this drug be prescribed? But leukemia is a uh, white blood cell cancer. So leukemia is a family of white blood cell cancers. So there are four broad types of leukemia. So there is a uh, acute leukemia and a chronic leukemia. And under the acute leukemia, there is acute myeloid leukemia and acute lymphoblastic leukemia. And uh, under the chronic leukemia group, mm -hmm. there is this uh, chronic myeloid leukemia and a chronic lymphocytic leukemia. So I do not know what Ruby was referring to and which subtype of leukemia. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. every leukemia, the treatment is slightly different. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I think that there is just not enough information for, okay. for me to give specific command. Mm -hmm. so, but so, it oh. doesn't mean that leukemia is not curable. In fact, we have a lot of patients who are cured of leukemias by way of different methods. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. This is on the conventional treatment before uh, smart Even clothes. now, yeah, even now. Even now. Yes, yeah. And uh, her second question on how quickly the treatment can be prescribed? Uh, this treatment is available, readily available. It's just a, a right of prescription from the doctor. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. I see, I see. All right. Yeah. So, so uh, the first step would be going to your doctor and see what the... Sort out what type of leukemia yes. and whether or not that type of leukemia fits the, the right treatment. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If that the, is the correct type of leukemia for the correct type of targeted therapy, the target therapy can be prescribed straight away. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, Thank before you. we uh, end our uh, session mm -hmm. today with uh, Doc on call, uh, any advice for our viewers, all of all of them who's watching right now? So uh, I, I perhaps want to um, want to advise everybody or who has a friend or relative who suffered from leukemias and lymphomas. So this is this disease is not the end of the world, mm -hmm. 
and I'm here to give encouragement and I want to show that Fauzia is cured of lymphomas mm -hmm. and she was one of the very brave pioneers who, who was brave enough to accept a new treatment, a so-called new treatment at that time uh, when the drug was not even registered in Malaysia. Mm -hmm. wow. So she had the gut, the bravery to accept it and now she's here with us today. And a living proof. A living proof. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank, Thank you, you so much for, for, for coming welcome. into the studio yeah. as well. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Dr. Go. Welcome. And right. that was our take on Smart Bullets. I hope you've learned quite a bit about the treatment. And if you have any further questions, you can forward them onto our Facebook page. We'll try to get them to Dr. Go. Uh, we're going to take another short breather. And when we come back, um, we have uh, your feedback. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Feedback as well. On uh, the question we asked you earlier, what should be done? What action should be taken against those who insult Sri Paduka Bagindani Pratan Agong on Facebook, on social media? So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back after this. Hot flavors coming up. Yummy.